Hello, everybody. Welcome into the stream. Hello. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a wonderful Monday. Mondays are not always the greatest. Oh, hello, Mirabelle. What a lovely sound to come in on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. I it, It's a weird Monday for me, uh, personally. It feels a little odd, but you know, here we are. I feel like the game might be a little loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Um, Rainbow Bubble, hello, hello. Amanda, Stacy, Haley, Charisse, hello, hello. Candia, Christina, hi. I'm going to start cleaning stuff up, and I realized I also have some crops here I probably should pick, because these are going to get in the way. Um, how was everyone's weekend? Hi, Joey. Hi, Nina. Hi, Elsa. Hello, hello. Yeah, what does everybody think about the, um, Dreamlight Valley star? Was it a star path, um, hint or clue? I looked at it, but I'm going to be so real with you. I didn't read the actual tweet. <laughs> because uh, I had already I was already like starting to set stuff up for stream and the thing that I cared about most was the emojis so that's what I was looking at it's a star path like hint right that's usually what they do hi Karen hi Heather hi Hazel and Benjamin and Twilight hello Andrea hi no item available oh yes I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, but I'm so excited to be here today. Well, excited and also terrified because we're gonna be clearing out the entire valley and the entire aisle. Um, probably gonna start in the aisle because there's nothing here and I have less emotional attachment to it. Nothing like um, procrastinating and building anxiety when really you could just tackle the main issue head on, but you know. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I didn't postpone emotional pain. Um, <laughs> the way you shed a tear when you saw the title of the stream yesterday. Oh, no. Listen, the thing is, uh, my current valley, well, with some slight modifications, it'll always live on um, in my valley tour video. The only biomes that aren't in that video are... Uh, the current version of my Glade of Trust, I changed that after. And I changed Frosted Heights as well. It was a star path hint. Okay, I thought so. We're gonna talk about it. Let me just finish doing this, like, um... Uh, uh, picking up stuff. And then we'll talk about it, because then I can, like, look at it or actually put in the mental energy into remembering what it was. Okay, okay, okay. You forgot your tissues? Oh no! Listen, hopefully there will be no actual tears today. I'm very proud to say that I've never actually cried during one of these before. So it probably won't happen. But I guess all possibilities always exist, right? Hi Kitty, how are you? Hi Winterberry, hello, hello. Um, okay, so the star path hint. Um, picture this, you're on um, X, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you get a notification that's very rudely timed because it's a half hour before stream starts and you see it's emojis. Classic Disney Dreamlight Valley. It says something along the lines of, um, can you tell what this means? New star path coming in the next update. The first pair of emojis is a candle, one of my personal favorites, and um, a plate of spaghetti. Cool. The second one is a door and an eye. Yeah, an eye, right? The third one is a redheaded woman and a snake. I could probably find a way to put this up on screen, but it would take a long time and I'm trying not to test OBS any more than I have to. So I feel like a couple of them are really obvious, right? Like the candle and the spaghetti, it's giving Lady and the Tramp, right? Which I think is very cute and fitting for like a star path that might be coming out around Valentine's Day. I don't know, the more the time progresses, the less I think we're getting it anytime soon. But I feel like that's giving very strong Lady and the Tramp energy. Why am I bulldozing my valley? Because um, it's completely full and we got the new characters and we got new premium shop houses and I want to rearrange everything. 
But honestly, the idea of just like moving individual pieces doesn't really feel like something that interests me. I prefer to have like a blank slate and then just be able to start fresh. And if we end up recreating some things that are kind of similar to what we have now, that's cool. If we go in a completely different direction, that's also fine. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, for the aisle, I'm probably just gonna go uh, like section by section. We're gonna um, just like clear all of the stuff. that grows and gathers and then we'll delete all of the furniture. Please tell me um, if there's anything on the aisle that disappears after you delete it for good. I know the sand dunes, but is there anything else that you just like can't get back? Why can't I get rid of you? That's rude. Um, You're going to try to do it with me? Ooh, listen, if you don't want to, Definitely don't. If it's something that you've been kind of thinking about and you think would be nice, by all means do. I have enjoyed starting fresh in my valley every now and then. All these things I know I can get back. This is giving just a rock. Is this just a plain normal rock? Um, oh, right, next. The next emojis were, um... The door and the eye, which is very much giving um, Monsters Inc, right? Sorry, this music is kind of distracting to me. It's so, like, enthusiastic. I'm not mad about it. It's just, I feel like this rock does not look like other rocks. Oh, wait, it looks exactly like this rock. Okay, we're fine. Watching from Northern Ireland, welcome in. You recently subscribed and are loving the videos. Thank you so much. That's very sweet and I appreciate it. Very happy to have you here. I know we can make some kind of uh, rocky ruins things, but I don't know if we can make these ones. I'm gonna set this over here. I am also going to leave my like main biome storage chests and my vacuums. I don't know why I can't delete this. So we'll leave those things. Actually, let me take you and delete all of these. Lady and the Tramp or just romantic dinner? I don't know. I feel like the spaghetti is just like so iconically Lady and the Tramp. And I don't think that we're going to get the characters because it's like a star path hint. So like even if it is just like the cute little dinner setup situation, I still think it's like Lady and the Tramp themed items, if that makes sense. Decluttering is therapeutic. Agreed. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. It can be, but also letting go of the attachment can sometimes be difficult for me. This is... Oh. This is, like, not pathing. Interesting. Okay. You believe only the sand dunes and possibly the wrecked ship. I think I saw people say that the wrecked ship um, could be found again in furniture if you get rid of it can anybody confirm that has anybody done that before mm, may i grab you thank you the redheaded emoji and the snake made you think of madame medusa from the rescuers me too but that's such like a specific thing does that make sense like not that the other things aren't specific, like the spaghetti dinner <laughs> from Lady and the Tramp is kind of specific, but Madame Medusa is such like a... I don't know. A random character from the Rescuers. Like, I love the Rescuers, but I feel like that movie is not necessarily that popular or like not as popular as a lot of other Disney movies. Also, I can't really think of, well, she had like this big diamond. I'm trying to think of notable things about her or 
items that were related to her that would be cool additions to the star path and i can't really think of any like can anyone think of any items related to madame medusa that would be like whoa that's a cool thing to have in game the stacked stones are craftable okay solid the wrecked ship is removable and placeable later. Okay, nice. I'm going to try to remember to leave um, furniture mode often. We'll see how well that goes. Glad you picked up the phone and looked. Do you love watching? Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Honestly, the emotional support is also greatly appreciated because right now I um, like I have no attachment to any of this. However, later we're going to come to some things that I uh, am attached to. And full disclosure, there's a small chance, <laughs> there's a small chance that I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've kind of always said I don't know if I'm ever going to get rid of where I have Stitch right now. So Stitch might just stay there, but we'll see. We will see. You've just taken a look at the emojis and the last one stumped you. Yeah, it's really giving like Madame Medusa. I feel like because they specifically went with the red haired person emoji, right? Because other than that, I was like, well, maybe um, who's like a woman with a snake? I was like, Madame or not uh, Mama Odie from Princess and the Frog. But like, wouldn't they go with the woman with brown skin if it was that? So I feel like it is Madame Medusa. I just don't know what it could possibly be. She wears kind of an iconic dress, but also very basic, like a basic design. These are crafted, right? These giant boys? Let me see. Because I think I've made at least one of everything from the new expansion. Yes. Okay. Um, are the little ruins in here too? Where would those be? Um, maybe outdoor and gray? Trying to see if I have any, just to confirm. The last one might be Mike's girlfriend. Wait, Celia? I feel like... I don't know why they would put Celia separate from the Monsters, Inc. clue, I guess. Okay, yeah. We do have those. Where do I have Stitch? He's on Dazzle Beach. He's kind of like in the little alcove area um, that leads to the Glade. Okay, you move there for now. Um, these we can craft. You'd be down for some Bernard and Bianca items from for a romantic theme. They are very, very cute. Very underrated Disney couple, I think. Some of this, unfortunately, will be me just like seeing if we have certain things. I'm sorry if that's annoying. Have I deleted all of these trees that we don't have more of? Y'all, is it time to cry? Um. Cancel everything. <laughs> Wait. Did we have- well, if we had any over here, they're gone forever now. Do we have these trees? Is it one of those things where if you pick up the trees, there are different versions? Is it just this tree? Was I panicking about nothing? It's just this tree. Stop immediately. Hi, Henry. Hi, Yana. How's everybody doing today? At first glance, you instantly thought Ginny from Harry Potter. Oh my goodness. Imagine if they were just like casually implying a Harry Potter crossover. That would be the wildest announcement. Just like the wildest way to announce something. 
Okay, all this stuff can go. Ursula gave you nightmares as a kid? Really? Uh, what gave me nightmares as a kid? Uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. And to be fair, to this day, I still think that's like the most frightening Disney movie. I really do. It's like too real. And it makes me incredibly sad. Okay, back to these things. Martina, hello, hello. About the Valentine's Day themed Monsters Inc. Star Path hints. Yeah, we were kind of or have been talking about the emoji clues. Very interesting. Very intriguing. I would very much like a date. <laughs> I would like a date for the update, please. Let me know um, so I can plan accordingly and just like be excited. It's so hard for me to be as excited when I'm like nervous. I don't know. I just feel like I just would like to know. Doesn't really have to be much more to it than that. Madam Mim, that's who you think it is? Madam Mim. I don't remember Madam Mim having much of a Does Madam Mim have a snake? I don't know. I'm not vibing too much with the thought that it would be Madam Mim. Jesse from Red uh, Toy Story has red hair and they have the snake in the boot. I thought that too, but the snake in the boot line is specifically Woody's. So I don't know. I think if it were Jesse that they were hinting at, it would be something like an actual cowboy boot or like a cowboy hat or like. Is there a rope emoji <laughs> for like a lasso? I don't know. I feel like they would pick something different if it were a Jesse hint instead of the snake. Um, this has something in it. OK, I'm probably also going to leave these crafting tables for now. Um, what do we have in these? I don't know. Okay, what else? What else? How are you going to take time off without enough notice? Fair. Very fair. Um, I might just move all of the bushes to once. Is that the only one? Huh. OK. Uh, these lamps could go. I can grab them. I don't know why I assumed this was like the actual pathing that we can make, but it's not. It's just the natural texture of this area. That's interesting. OK, we'll get rid of you. I'm we'll probably put these lamps back, to be honest, but for now, we'll get rid of them. What's my plan for decorating? I honestly don't know. I don't know if we're going to get to too much decorating today. It really depends. Um, if we do, it's probably just going to be kind of like placement mapping. So like deciding where or like what biomes I'm going to want certain buildings or houses in. I don't think we'll get to like really in depth decorating today, but I guess stranger things have happened. You think the lady and snake might mean we get Celia's snake hairstyle? I just feel like why go with a redheaded emoji? Was it a redheaded emoji for everybody that like I don't go on X enough or Twitter? I don't know. Do we call it X or do we just call it Twitter? So I don't go on Twitter very much and I don't really use like person emojis that much. Is the red haired one the default? Because like if it's not the default, whoever typed up this message had to go out of their way to pick one with red hair.
Hi, Sarah. How are you? Can you remove hologram stations and get them back? I don't know if you can remove them. I haven't been trying. I've just been relocating them off to the side for now. I don't know if it'll even let you remove them, to be honest. Okay. So satisfying to have a clean valley. Oh, listen. Yeah, I don't necessarily like I recommend clearing your valley if you've been thinking about it. But I don't think it's something that everyone needs to do. I just it's so nice to just have a big open space that's just full of possibilities. The process of getting to that point is a little bit stressful, but it's usually worth it for me. Okay, all of this. Oh, this music is, is kind of ominous. Speaking of music, stop. I've been, <laughs> the past couple weeks have had me so <laughs> just like, oh, emotionally elevated, I guess is the way that I would describe it. So much has happened. I don't watch the Super Bowl. I don't really care about sports. However, last night the trailer for uh, the Wicked movie dropped. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for this movie for years. The Wicked movie has been like in talks for years and I adore Wicked. And I thought with all of the strikes and everything that it was going to get pushed back the date, but it's still coming out this Thanksgiving and I was not expecting a trailer. So that had me almost in tears yesterday. I was so excited. And then Beyonce's new music. Just wild. Will you collect this for me, please? Thank you. They need to come out with Princess and the Frog characters and stuff. Well, we're getting Tiana. Um, oh, let me clean up the rest of the stuff first. We're getting Tiana. Mm, this summer. So possibly like July-ish. You checked and the red hair is the default. Is it? Interesting. That opens up so many more possibilities. It could be a Celia hairstyle then. Actually, as kind of interesting as it would be to have Madame Medusa, that is making me lean more towards Celia. I don't think we'll get her as a character because it's talking about the star path. So maybe, yeah, the hairstyle. Hmm. Interesting. Did I see the teaser for Moana 2? Uh, I saw like an image. Um, I don't think I saw any like footage or anything. I'm not sure if that exists. But I did see like the image announcement. Pretty exciting. I heard that Lynn manuel Miranda is not going to be working on the music for or did not work on the music for Moana 2. I can't verify that. I just saw it from one source, but I thought it was interesting. You removed the hologram stations and then saw them in your inventory later when decorating. Oh, that's good to know. OK, this is all clear. The secret areas we can't decorate on, so I'm not going to worry about there, unless I'm mistaken. If we can now decorate in the secret areas, let me know. Because I actually would really like to, I think. Okay, um, vacuum first. You're excited about Inside Out too. Does that come out soon? Does that come out in like April? Or am I really wrong? <laughs> I just thought it was somewhat soon. Hi Banjo, how are you? I'm kind of excited for Inside Out too. I really I enjoyed Inside Out. It's not one of my favorites. 
but I did think it was really cute and it made me kind of emotional. Why is it 200 degrees in my apartment right now? Give me one second. It's the middle of February. There's no reason why it should be this warm. Brave, maybe? But I, I was thinking that, but there are no snakes in Brave that I remember. I have only seen Brave once or twice, but I don't remember any snakes. But I am very excited. I wonder, because I think last update, we didn't get like a promo image for the Star Path. We had one for Wonder of Pixar. And I think we had had, even if it wasn't like the full like promo image, at least some items from the Star Path um, shown to us in previous updates, but I know we didn't at all with the Royal Winter. So I wonder if we'll see, you know, some uh, some images of Star Path items before we get the update or not. Uh, let me just put you there. I think that'll be fine. I can't wait to decorate here. I love the ruins. It's very fun. There we go, there we go. Definitely Medusa vibes, like maybe the Percy Jackson or Greek stuff mentioned in the survey. I don't think we'll see that because I don't think they would have put it in the survey if they were bringing it out so soon. I think the survey stuff is either things they're considering doing or things that they have done that they're trying to figure out, like, a timeline for when to introduce it down the road. But maybe not. I feel like the Percy Jackson show was... Well, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It feels like it may be more um, successful than anticipated. But that's just kind of my initial opinion from how people have been talking about it. I don't know for sure. Mariah, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy um, the cute emojis. We have a members Discord channel um, on our Discord server. And we have a member stream this week. I think I scheduled it for Friday. So I hope to see you there. Okay, I should probably start dumping stuff from my inventory. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to tear down your valley, but then you'll end up regretting it. So at the moment, you've been doing small chunks of your valley. Honestly, that's a great way to do it, too, if you're not sure you want to commit to just deleting everything just doing small sections can be really nice I feel like sometimes when I know there's something I want to change I realize I want to change like the entire vibe of an area so then I don't really want to leave everything else there because I feel like it's gonna look too disjointed so that's part of why I prefer to just do everything or like I'll do, I, I don't always do the entire valley. Sometimes I just do a biome. But I, if I'm deleting something, I usually do like the whole biome. What are you two talking about? Seen a girl lurking about brown hair, like likely carrying a book? My, my, you wouldn't happen to be in love, would you? Ooh. I have very strong feelings since everything I do is strong. <laughs> <laughs> and I could use your help. I've heard that you have certain ellipsis talents, question mark. Might have something to help you. But don't forget, you can't get something for nothing. Well, isn't that just Ursula? 
I love catching the villagers talking to each other. It's always fun. Okay. What else? We got this. It was good and it was renewed. You were surprised you liked it. I think I watched the first one or two episodes and I enjoyed them. I just watched them while I was on vacation. And I feel like sometimes when I watch things on vacation, I just don't continue them because it feels like a vacation thing. Um, but yeah, I had re well, I had read the core Percy Jackson series books leading up to the show because I had never read them before. And I was like, this is kind of like a fun opportunity to do that, I guess. And I thought they were cute. Um, so yeah, I started the show. I'll probably finish it at some point. Okay, sand dunes are sacred. Please don't let me accidentally delete them. Actually, let me just move them someplace. Like when I see them, I'll move them. So they're out of sight, out of mind, out of harm's way. Put you there, bring you down here. Just started watching and you're sad that I'm bulldozing it. It was so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, the valley will be very empty for a while, so that's not going to be like the cutest look, but I have faith that we're going to be able to make something new that's going to be really nice. It'll just take us a while to get there. This is not the first time I've done this. I think I've done my full valley two times, two other times on stream. And I've done individual biomes a couple of times as well. Can I delete you? Why can't I delete you? Um, that's oh, because it's got stuff on it. Oh, that's something I have to pick up. That's something I have to pick up. Why did the vacuum not pick that up? I don't know. That's something I have to pick up. They dropped a hint for the new star path. I know we were just talking about it. What are your thoughts? Do you have any theories? Is the aisle really good? You want to play? You want to get it for your birthday? I really enjoy the expansion. I think you get a lot of content for the money that you're paying. Um, the initial line of quests that we got, I really enjoyed. Um, the aisle itself, a whole new area to like hang out, explore, decorate. I think that in and of itself, like even if we just got the new map, I know obviously everyone like has different opinions. I think I still would have thought it was worth it, the new map by itself. But with the new quests, the new characters, new critter companions, new crafting items, there's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Would you mind leaving? OK, um, I guess. Uh, can I move it at least so it's out in the open so I remember to delete it later? Nope. All right. That's just stuck there forever then. That is simply stuck there forever. You want to decorate your valley so badly, but it seems so overwhelming and you don't even know where to, to start. Do I have any advice? I do. Give me a second to catch up on chat a little bit, because in typical me fashion, I'm behind. But I will give you my tips. Also, thank you so much for loving the videos. That makes me really happy. I appreciate it. Um, Let's see. Confirming you have the hologram stations in your inventory. OK, but you're unsure of the tags. Got it. Got it. Thank you for that. Vacuum doesn't pick up stuff on tables. Oh, interesting. I had no idea. Thanks for letting me know. Please don't freeze. Girly girl, pick the thing. Is this my outfit from this week's stream snap? It's not. I kind of wanted, I just wanted like a little Monsters Inc. shirt on for the thumbnail. Because like part of the reason why I'm doing this is to have everything like fresh for the update. So... Yeah, and then I put on the Monsters Inc. shirt and I was like, wait, <laughs> this is kind of cute. <laughs> so I just left it on. I think it's fun. It's a bit of fun. Um, uh, decorating tips, decorating tips. I think um, 
the one that I always say is not really a tip for decorating itself. It's more for like your mindset. I think um, just being aware that for a lot of people, I assume, but definitely for me, decorating is just a huge like trial and error situation. Like I almost never start decorating and immediately like what I'm doing. It usually takes me a lot of moving things around, trying different things to start making something that I actually like. And sometimes I'll even decorate a whole area, finish, think I like it, and then come back later and realize it's like the worst thing I've ever seen. So just like not putting too much pressure on yourself to make something that's perfect because it takes time to get a result that you really like. Um, I think also starting in small sections can be really nice. Like I did this a lot when I was initially decorating. I sometimes still do this, but sometimes I don't. But if you're looking at an area um, like this area, for instance, just like a long stretch of open space, break it down a little bit. So if you want to make this section one thing, like devote this to Shea Remy, for instance, just start focusing on decorating this area. And even if you don't know what you want to do with the rest of it, like breaking it into smaller chunks can be really nice. And then maybe you're like, oh, I know it would look really nice in this area. And then just like decorate this little square here or like this little rectangle here. And then eventually you can like just do a little design to connect the spaces. I think that's really nice. Um, I like using a lot of trees and bushes and rocks and things in my decorating style because I think it helps to fill out an area and I like the more kind of natural sort of decorating more than a really built up look just my personal taste so I think that can be nice um in terms of just like mechanically speaking, if you can try to buy 25 items from Scrooge every day, even if you're not logging on to play, because you're going to be really happy to have those extra just like basic stools or extra. What's something that you can buy? Picnic tables. Um, so like just really beefing up your inventory of furniture is going to make decorating easier, I think. Those are probably the main things. I hope they could maybe add a job feature where you can help Scrooge sell furniture to villagers. Interesting. In that kind of a situation, do you imagine that you would um, like earn star coins by doing that? Or what would be like the reward for doing that? How much is it? Cause you saw Rapunzel was on the aisle and she's your third favorite princess. Um, like how much is the expansion? Where I live, I think it was like it's 30 US dollars. Paprika. Is that from here? I think it is. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to bring Wally over here somewhere and find a place for him and Eve to live. You would like dream light or mist as a reward for that. That might be nice. Um, I think I'm going to just bring this down here, actually. Maybe I should put. No. I think I'm going to leave these in their respective little areas for now. Probably not forever, but. If I start moving them around right now, I think I'll get confused. Okay, one more area down. 
where am I thinking for Wally? I want Wally and Eve to be together. I think I want them in the glittering dunes over here. I don't know like a spot yet. I'm hoping, oh my goodness, how have we been stripped? Stop <laughs> all of my plans. <laughs> I was like, it's not gonna take that long to like empty out these areas. It'll probably take 30 minutes for the whole aisle. Who was I kidding? We've been streaming for 40 minutes and we're only two thirds of the way done with the aisle. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was hoping I would have time at the end of stream to start uh like placing some buildings at least in the biomes or like sections that i want them in but maybe starting to think about like actual spots that i want them in now that dream seems to be uh slipping further and further away so we'll see if i get to that today or not you love my decorating style thank you so much yeah, I'm excited to, I mean, I always say when I decorate areas that I want to try something different and I sometimes do try something different, but I just can't get away from that more like a little bit overgrown sort of natural look. I don't know. I just, I just like it. Maybe at some point I should try to do something like really city core or something. I don't know if I could, but. It might be a fun challenge. You kind of regret buying the expansion and not having the main story complete. I do wonder what that would be like, because from my understanding, you can start playing the expansion really quickly. Even if you just got the game, I think the furthest along you have to get, like the thing that takes the longest is to, I think you have to do one of the Scrooge shop quests, but you can get that done really quickly. So yeah, I do think it would be interesting to play the expansion without finishing the rest of the main story, but I don't, I don't know how it would feel. Where did I put that tree? Did I just move it here? Why did I move it there? Put it here, I guess, for now. Oh, this stuff stays here, though. That's interesting. Quite overwhelming, so you just decorate a lot rather than complete the story. I think it probably feels like a lot because I know when I first picked up the expansion, I felt like there were so many quests and that was having been completely caught up on everything else in the main game. So I feel like having all of the main quests and all of the expansion quests in your log would probably feel very overwhelming. But... It's a really play at your own pace game, so I think... Can I not pick you up? Oh, my inventory's full. So uh, I think as much as possible, try not to stress about like finishing everything right away. Because you can really do it whenever you want. You're done deleting the whole aisle now? Congratulations! That's exciting. Okay. Let me go back up here and we'll do this spot first. You bought the expansion when you first started. You just finished your main quest. Nice. Am I going to place tree farms? Hmm. Oh, good point. Uh. Maybe in. What's it called? the wild tangle because I'll need the tropical wood. Do we get any other interesting wood types from the dunes or ancient's landing? I don't think so. So I probably won't there because I don't think I'll care that much. You move down there. Don't get deleted. Yeah, 
you're going to try to just dedicate a day to completing the story and the friendship quest. Yeah, I mean, there is no rush, though, um, especially with the next update that we're getting being Monsters, Inc. OK, well, here's the thing. Actually, I need more information because because uh, we did see Skull Rock in the background. But for the most part, typically the way it's gone in the past when we've had realm updates, the realms you can really do whenever you want. It's not tied to any spot of the main story or anything like that. So you can complete it whenever you don't have to be caught up on anything. So it's pretty no pressure. You'd like to have a date for the update because you started a new game when we got Eternity Isle. And it's overwhelming to have everyone need quests completed at once. And you want to have everyone currently in game up to level 10 before getting new characters. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I really hope we don't have another situation where they tell us that we're getting the update the day beforehand. I'm not really a fan of that move. But it might end up being that, so who knows? Okay, I think I officially got all the areas in the glittering dunes. You know what? Let me sell some of this stuff. How's it going? I don't think I need these strawberries. I don't think I need any of this. I don't need this or this. Um. I don't think I need these. Oh, wait, I also don't need this. There we go. Hi, Charlotte. How are you? No wood types from the dunes. Um, soft wood from Ancients Landing. OK, so it is just. Um, the wild tangle. Got it. Got it. Let me just double check. I got everything here. Yeah, that's attached to the world. OK, we're good. You bet it will be that. What, the one day notice? No, <laughs> I don't want it. Definitely don't want it. You just remind yourself over and over the only thing that's time limited is the star path. Exactly. Everything else can just be done at your own pace. You bet it will be a surprise update tomorrow. Wait, what? No. I really don't want that. We will see. We will see. Because up until even last week, I was like, I really think we're getting it on Valentine's Day. <laughs> but now, now I don't really think so anymore. But that makes me curious because the roadmap that we got was laid out pretty much like update for update, like last year's drop schedule. And we got the late winter update last year in the middle of February. So then it makes me wonder, like, is everything going to be pushed this year? And maybe we'll end up with fewer updates than we did last year. So it makes me it makes me curious. Makes me wonder a little bit. Oh, no, I don't have to get rid of you. You're fine. Uh, you're attached. You want to get the expansion pack, but you want to get further on in the main game first, you think? I think that's totally fair. I mean, there's so much in the main game. Like, so many hours of content. Hi, Levi. Hello, hello. You haven't finished Eve, Gaston, or Jack. I just finished Eve and Gaston last week. Jack I did around Christmas time because I wanted to get his um 
like winter outfit. Oh, there it is. I have a couple odd quests, though. One with Scrooge, one with Mirabelle, and one more. Maybe with Goofy? I don't know who it's with. There's an extra update in Starpath versus last year, so they can't wait too long. It actually doesn't seem like there is, at least from the roadmap they gave us. Um, it lines up with each of the updates we got last year. There was no extra update on the roadmap. Says so late winter, then early spring, then late spring. Yeah, that's what we got last year. Thank you, Brainseer. Yeah, we hit uh, 12,000 subscribers maybe last night or this morning, which is pretty exciting. Very, very exciting. Okay, I think this is sufficiently emptied. You're thinking the update comes out when the shop resets? I hope not. I need time. <laughs> I need time to mentally prepare. I need time to figure out streaming new content. Just give us, give us some notice, please. Are you attached here? I think it is. Okay. I mean, if they told us like today, hey, the update's coming on Wednesday, I'd be like, work, party, that's amazing. But if they tell us like tomorrow that the update's coming on Wednesday, I'll be a little bit upset. Um, I might just need to go to the vacuum right now. Unless the extra is the DLC roadmap. Yeah, we're getting DLC content in addition to the content, but not on like an extra date. Just the paid content is going to be dropping at the same time as other free content. They had the teaser earlier today. Yeah, but still nothing about when we're getting it. Okay, let's see, let's see. They always leave it to last minute. That's the thing though, they didn't used to do that. I don't know why they decided to start doing that. I don't know if it's like, uh, they're just working on it till the last minute and they're not sure until like the day of or what. But yeah, they used to give us like two weeks. Or sometimes one week, but yeah, for a long time, they'd tell us two weeks in advance what the date of the update was going to be. All of this. Oh no, so much stuff on this table. This was from my dream snap from like two weeks ago or something. You go there. Why are we bulldozing? Um, to start fresh and be able to decorate in a new way, relocate buildings. Um, I want to like completely rethink where I have people's homes and stuff now that we have the aisle. I mean, we've had the aisle for a while. I just haven't decorated since we got um, the new content. So yeah, I want to move a bunch of people around, rethink things. And I just decided the best way to do that was to just scrap everything and start fresh and so far so good it's just taking a hot minute um i can't imagine <laughs> how long it's gonna take to do the valley listen the aisle isn't even decorated Ugh. 
actually, in some ways, I feel like the valley might be easier, though, because there's more stuff around so I can just like delete everything and then clean up afterwards. Mm, maybe I'm just like trying to manifest a good future for us. My heart tells me the valley will be easier to clear. So we're just going to go with that. You can't wait to see. You've never really seen me decorate. Oh, yeah. I also that's another reason I like miss decorating streams. That was pretty much exclusively what we did for a really long time. For a while, um, it was like exterior decorating. Uh, do these come back if we delete them? Does anyone know? Like, can we get them from our inventory? Uh, for a while, it was all exterior decorating while I was finishing decorating my valley, but that was a long time ago. And then after that, it was all of the interiors because I decorated almost every uh, interior of the premium shop houses on stream. I did a few of them off stream, but a lot of it was together and it was a lot of fun. Hi, Ramon. How are you? You crafted every tent and placed in the desert area just to not make it so plain. Nice. Yeah, I definitely want to have a little tent, uh, like campsite area, or even if not like a full campsite, at least one tent with a setup. I don't know where I want it yet, though. Yep, under foliage. Okay, sweet. I mean, I probably could just check this. Wait, where are you? Oh, you don't think the planters are tagged? That's really annoying. Um, is it going to be all the way down at the bottom here? Gaston shipwreck. Is it going to be further up like where I crafted it? Which would have been. They're kind of cute. I don't want to get rid of them if they don't come back. Oh, OK. Carnivorous floral arrangement. It is there. It's just going to be a bit of a pain in the behind to find it. That's fine. I can live with that. You would love for them to have the Eternity Isle fish and veggies in Wally's garden and the items in Kristoff's stall. It would be nice. It would. I was trying to think of, <laughs> I don't know, some like counterpoint. It would be nice. I think eventually um, it would be a bit difficult as we keep getting more areas, like more maps added in future expansions, because then you're going to be seeing the items there a lot less frequently, which might not be as nice. But for now, with only two places, I don't think it would be that bad. Do I think it's just Mulan and Tiana coming in the updates or do I think anyone else will join them? Um, I think it's very possible that Tiana will come by herself because that update corresponds to like the July update we got last year, which we just got with Penelope. So it's possible they could just bring Tiana and maybe maybe introduce a new feature to the game or do like a bit of a feature overhaul, like a multiplayer expansion or something um, as well. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was just Tiana. Um, Mulan, I do think we'll get more than just Mulan because um, it's a realm update that we're getting. 
And we usually get more than one character in a realm update. But like even the update where we all think we're getting Daisy, I do think that'll just be Daisy, which is interesting. Yeah, because like it seems like we're getting probably the same number of updates this year based on how they laid out the roadmap. But it seems like we're possibly getting fewer characters. I was going to make a video about this a long time ago, but by the time I put it together, I was like, mm, everybody's already watched so many videos talking about the showcase and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, eh, I just won't put it out. But I think I still have the spreadsheet somewhere. <laughs> I like broke down all of the updates of last year and all of the projected updates that we have coming and compared like realms versus story, how many characters we got in each one. And it seems like we could have a bit of a character deficit this year, but we won't know until we see the updates. Maybe just Rapunzel, you swear you found it under a tag. You know who probably knows? Probably the wiki. So I could probably just search it there if I'm ever looking for it and figure out how to find it more easily. I don't really mind having to scroll for it, though. Thanks for coming, Levi. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Maybe the redhead is Meg from Hercules. I don't think Meg really had anything to do with snakes. I would love to see Meg. Would love, love, love to see Meg. She's like one of my top five characters that I want to see in Dreamlight Valley. Um, that stuff is all stuck there. Oh, you two I can take. Let me move these just here, I guess. Oh, wait, is that the only one? Stop. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can go by the vacuum, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. You want the little dragon companion? Wait, Mushu from Mulan? Um, thank you so much if you liked the stream, by the way. The way I have my setup right now, I can't see how many likes we have. But thank you so much if you have liked the stream. And if you're hanging out, enjoying the stream, and haven't liked it yet, please consider pressing the like button. It helps the channel out so much. Okay, what else? Is this the last area? Am I tripping? Is this the last area of the aisle? I certainly hope so. You also think with Daisy that only she will come because that update is the same as the next Eternity Isle update. Well, yes, but here's the thing. I don't think uh, it's that cool. Like, I understand that people who have the DLC will get more than just Daisy in that update. But for pretty much every free update in Early Access, we got more than one character. There was one, the Scar update, that we only got one character. But every other one, we got more than one. So I think it's kind of not very cool if the amount of free characters we get now decreases because they're like, oh, well, if they buy the expansion, they'll get more characters. That just feels a little bit. It doesn't sit quite right with me. So that's why I think it'll be interesting by like the end of the year to see how many free characters we get and how that compares to last year before there were paid characters. Because like the paid stuff should be additional content. It shouldn't be like, oh, well, you paid so you get like as much content as you would have had for no additional money last time last year. Does that make sense? Did I say hi already, GG? Hello if I did not. I said it in my brain space and I think I didn't actually say it with my face. So <laughs> hello, I hope you're having a good day. OK, all of this stuff. Yes, is cleared. You, 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 you. 
Okay, let me actually just uh, cover up these holes while I'm here. Perfect. Time to move to the valley. Let me dump a bunch of this stuff. Oh, and Vanellope update. You're right, you're right, you're right. I did mention that earlier, too. Just left my brain for a second. You're watching one of the streams pre-Isle update, and I was speculating about how they'll bring Eugene, and now you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, I wonder. I do still think, I really feel in my heart of hearts that when they do bring Eugene, he'll be a free character. I don't think he'll be a paid character, but who knows? Okay, I need to find a spot to dump all of this stuff. Luckily, I think I have some random chests with random things just sitting in front of my house. Oh, it's so weird. Everything is gone. Hmm. Okay, I should actually probably put some uh, trees in uh, the place, the place, the place, the wild tangle. So I can... um. Get things? Tree farm? I don't know. Why do I try to speak? I'll clean all this stuff out later. I just can't really be bothered to go into my house to do all of that right now. Uh, let's go to the Frosted Heights. Scar was also the first actual update, so you feel like that's different. Yeah, I, I don't like think it was a bad thing that they just brought Scar. It was so close to the release of the game, too, because the game dropped in September. And we got the first update in October, right? I, can tell. We're gonna be I don't think I made that up. So it was a bit different. You think they should bring couples in the same DLC or free so that the quest can be linked? I do feel weird about that. I don't think that they necessarily should do it. I think it would be nice if they did because it would be nice to have quests linked and it would be a shame to get Flynn and have him not have anything to do with Rapunzel in the quest. And it would also be really bad if they brought Flynn and they were like, well... Hmm. I don't know. I, I think it would be really nice to bring people who are related together. Um, I kind of feel like from a business perspective, it makes sense to separate them. Because like, for instance, if they bring Flynn for free, right? And he's running around the valley like, oh, wow, where's Rapunzel? Or wow, I miss Rapunzel or something then people are going to be compelled more so to buy the DLC to have Rapunzel and see them together. I feel like there's a world in which they could do paid quest lines, like quest bundle packs or something that's like, OK, we brought Flynn and since Rapunzel's part of a DLC, he can't have any quests directly tied to him in like his main friendship quests. But maybe there's a bundle of like. Quests that you can buy, kind of like the dream bundles uh, where you end up having Flynn and Rapunzel do quests together. I don't know. I could see that kind of a thing happening. I think it's very possible. They did split even Wally. Well, yes, but that's different. Let me explain. Let me explain how that's different. <laughs> Give me a second. So part of it's how they were introduced. Like we got Wally in the game way before Eve and he had like his own complete quest line. And like he does talk about Eve kind of. So I guess it would be a little bit similar in that respect, because if we got Flynn for free, I kind of want to do like a walkthrough of this area. Give me one second. Um, cause I don't have like an actual tour of it on my channel. So if I just do like a walkthrough that way, I can at least remember how I have this place set up 
if I want to look back and consider how to redecorate it potentially. Um, but when Eve was introduced, she was introduced in a DLC and Wally was already here for free. So she can have quests that have to do with Wally because Wally already exists for free in the game. If we get Flynn, though, we can't have Flynn have any quests with Rapunzel because Rapunzel only exists in the game if you have the DLC. Does that make sense? And they can't bring a free character linked to like that you can only do quests with if you have a paid expansion and they also can't bring him in a paid expansion and have him have quests with Rapunzel because then you would have to have the other paid expansion to play with Flynn. It makes sense in my brain. I don't know if I'm explaining it in a good way though. Yeah, kind of like Dream Bundles, but different. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Jingle Bells. Hello, hello. Can I make a video of how I create Main Street Walt Disney for my plaza? Possibly. It was a long time ago. Did I do that on stream? I really can't remember if I did that on stream. I've had my plaza the same way for so long. Be over there. Unless they do him as a surprise character with the aisle. Exactly. Like, if, yes. If they included him with the aisle, it would make sense because you only had to pay for that one DLC for the things, but otherwise it wouldn't really work. My plaza build was on stream. Okay. Maybe I can go find that clip. I just think that was like one of the first things that I decorated on my valley redesign, I think. And for the longest time, I only had that strip done because I didn't know what else to do. And then I think eventually I ended up putting like, oh, this was like way a long time ago because I this must have been like last year in January or even December, possibly. No, probably January because this was all empty for a while. And then eventually I put like the Disney Park stuff from that star path, which was, I think, in February or was that the April? That might have been the April star path. But anyway, yeah, I just remember that that was a long time ago. Good times. Good times. Am I going to delete my plaza this time? I think so. I might end up recreating the same thing or a similar thing, but I want to give myself the possibility of having a completely different design. So we'll see. Because I almost feel inspired to... I'm going to leave this here because I do want to have at least all of these things somewhere. Um... I almost feel inspired to think about moving these buildings into a different biome. I think it might be fun because I've always had that sort of like strip town center, like shopping center looking area in the plaza. It might be nice to try it somewhere else. Really thinking about making a video impossible. Wait, what? Oh, listen, I know I don't put out videos that much, but it's because I don't have new information and I don't really have anything worth saying in a video. I feel like ever since I first started the channel, I've been pretty like. I've pretty much had that stance where videos are great. They bring viewership into the channel. They help expand the community, which is awesome. But I never want to make a video that I wouldn't want to watch myself. Because um, I feel like if it's not something that I find worthwhile or entertaining, like why would I subject any of you to it? So with me and videos, I just don't ever force myself to adhere to a schedule. And... 
I just do it if I feel inspired. Just kind of how it is. It would be way more convenient if I just... <laughs> if, if I didn't do it that way <laughs> in a lot of ways. But I don't know. I just can't force myself to make content that I'm not, like, excited about. Hi, James. How are you? You deleted your whole plaza. You have no buildings there now, only harvesting. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be my whole uh, my whole valley for a while. It's just going to be a lot of open space. I'll have space to like dig for resources, which I haven't had in a long time because I always have everything just around. That'll be kind of fun. Space to like do actual sets for dream snaps without having to figure out what I'm going to delete. That'll be really nice. Oh, I can't delete you. I forgot. Well, you can move over here then. You don't think they should have restricted characters behind expansions at all. You feel like characters should be free in updates, especially with the game being paid now. I am not opposed to expansions having characters. I think it helps to increase the value of the expansion. Like, I think. I mean, because we got a lot of stuff in the expansion, but imagine if we got Eternity Isle, just the place and um, the resources. Like, yeah, that would still be a lot of content. But we wouldn't be able to really necessarily have a storyline as such with it because we wouldn't have any new characters. We wouldn't have any friendship quests. So, like, it helps make the expansion more worth it. Um, so I don't really mind it that much. And if it means that, like, because even though the game is paid, I think with a live service game that's continuing to get I don't know if I can delete this and get this back that's continuing to get regular free updates you do still have to have a somewhat steady source of revenue coming into the game because otherwise you can't pay your employees to continue working on the game so if we only ever got free updates or free characters, it wouldn't be sustainable for us to keep getting content for Dreamlight Valley. So I think it makes sense. Because, like, yeah, there's the premium shop, but with people doing Dream Snaps, like, how much of us are really buying Moonstones anymore? I haven't bought Moonstones since we got Dream Snaps. I don't think so. And I know a lot of other people are the same as well. So like, I understand the need for expansions yeah, right. to keep sustaining the business. And I think including characters in it is a good way to incentivize people to actually buy the expansions. Okay. Okay. Would I do a new valley tour when I get it set back up again? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I will definitely do an updated valley tour when we get it done. I'll probably I kind of want to decorate the aisle first. But I might kind of pop back and forth and just do whatever feels. Interesting to me at the time, like from stream to stream. But in my brain, I would kind of like to have, like, decorate the aisle first. You would find an empty area so intimidating, you wouldn't know where to start to decorate. It can be a lot, but that's also why I kind of like to have a general... Um... Idea of, like... Like, I never sketch out ideas for decorating, 
or really what I want to have where, but I at least try to know what buildings I want to have in each biome before I start decorating in a biome because then I can kind of play around with the placement. So usually before I start decorating a biome, I'll put the houses where I want them. And then that makes it easier because I'm like, okay, I'm going to have Belle's house here. So we'll have like a whole entry area here. I'm going to have the palace here. So we'll have a whole entry area here. And then sometimes I'm like, I always need a spot for Goofy stall. So I'll plop it there and we'll have that. And then it kind of makes it easier because then you have empty areas that are smaller and you can kind of think of cute ideas for that, I guess. You like it better being paid than free to play. I feel like I don't mind the way the game is right now with its structure. I do think it was jarring and not handled in the best way. Um, the announcement of no longer going free to play. But, you know, that's in the past. And there's no way to know what it would have looked like if it were free to play. All we can really do is like feel how we feel about the current way that the game is. And I think for now, it's not, it, it feels pretty reasonable, at least in my opinion. And everybody has different opinions. I feel like the structure is pretty reasonable and hopefully it's sustainable so they won't have to like continue adding more like paid options, but we'll see. No way to know until it happens. I might put this over here. No more candy area. I know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Listen, I'm actually so stressed out about Vanellope's house. I really, really wish they had added the ability to remove characters' houses from the map in this update. I think that would have been ideal. I know we need it for quests sometimes, but you could just whip it out again if you needed it for a quest. But Vanellope's house angers me. It's just so not my vibe and I find it very difficult to find a spot for. Let me exit out of here actually. I haven't finished the whole biome but I have a feeling that things are gonna start. I, get, I have like my <laughs> Dreamlight Valley sixth sense tingling. Like if you don't leave now your game is going to crash. Last year, you started watching me right before I bulldozed my valley. Oh my goodness, you feel like it's full circle seeing it happen again. That's so fun. Yeah, and I also love the fact that like, I don't know. It's so fun to be able to look back with people who have been watching for like a really long time and be like, wow, remember back when we had that design? Like if you've been here for a really, really long time, like from when I first started streaming, you might remember I had like a huge orchard in my valley right here. I had all of the trees and all of the bushes in this little corner here. It was pretty early on that I got rid of that. But yeah, it's fun to like look back on different different ways that we had things and be like, wow, remember that? Wild. You're thinking of moving your Lion King characters to the aisle. Pride Rock would look great in the Wild Tangle and Scar's skull would look good in the dunes. I've heard some people say they moved Scar to the dunes. I think that's kind of fun. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I feel like it just fits so well in Sunlit Plateau. And I do think, I think I've heard some people say that they moved Pride Rock to the Oasis. I think that would be fun too, but I don't know. I'm still not set on what I want to do with some of the some of the homes and buildings. You remember the orchard? It was so long ago. Because after that, yeah, because by December it was gone because I had my seasonal set up here. So yeah, I might have gotten rid of it in like November. 
maybe. And I started streaming in October, so it was for a very short amount of time that I had it. Um, yeah, I'll actually put these over here. You put Vanellope in the lagoon, surrounded in with trees, and made an overgrown path with scattered candy path pieces. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I feel like this setup was the only place that I had Vanellope, like, out and about, like, on display. Prior to that, I had her in the glade, really tucked away. Because, I don't know, just... Her, her house feels like a bit of an eyesore to me. Not anything against that. Like, the house, for what it is, it's beautifully designed. I think it looks really nice. It's just a little jarring compared to some of the other homes that we have. And especially with the way that I tend to decorate, it just feels like it sticks out so much. So I'm always trying to find a way to make it work. Hi, New. How are you? How is bulldozing going? It's taken a while, but you know, there have been no tears. I surprisingly feel nothing about this, so <laughs> we'll see if that continues or if I reach a breaking point where I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like cutting your hair, right? Um, I don't know if other people feel like this. I did this like last summer. I just completely like cut off all of my hair and it's like I felt nothing and then at one point it kicked in and I was like huh <laughs> I really did that didn't I <laughs> so I feel like we might get to that point but maybe not maybe this will just be a fun joyous no stress occasion <laughs> surprisingly feel nothing yeah but like in the best way. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? You're getting Twitch drops for Palea. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Do you happen to know when they end? Oh, I do. Thank you. Anyway, um, if you don't know, no worries. I am fully capable of looking this up myself. Okay. Break this rock. Oh my goodness. Stop. My stomach just growled so loudly. I don't know if you all heard that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like usually my mic probably wouldn't pick it up, but since I was talking, it might have picked it up. It was just so loud. I don't even like feel hungry. Okay, continuing on, continuing on. February 19th is the end. Okay. Noted. Thank you. Thank you. You've done the same. It's some there's something therapeutic about a big chop. When the growing process begins, you question everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did a big chop. Um, uh, like towards the end of university. And then I was growing my hair out after that. And then, yeah, last summer I was just like, you know what? I think I just want to chop off my hair. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick up all these flowers. Actually, now might be a good time to do that. You shaved your head back in July. Did you feel liberated? You haven't played super far in this game. Are you eventually able to get rid of the green flames in the Forgotten Lands? You are. Um, Fairy Godmother helps you do that. And also, don't worry. Questions are super welcome here. We're happy to help. It's not annoying whatsoever. Finally caught a live stream. Welcome in, but you're at work. <laughs> time to go over your break time. Thank you for being here. I'm happy you were able to make it. I hope work's going well today. Okay, let me drop these flowers in this flower chest. Everything looks so different without the path. It's wild how much of a difference that makes. You loved your shaved head. Only regret is 
Not pulling a slim shady and bleaching it. I didn't bleach my hair at all either. I really should have. I thought about it too. I was like, when else will I feel this little worry about damaging my hair? But I didn't bleach it. And now it's like actually getting kind of long again. So I don't really want to do it again. Like, I don't want to bleach it now. <laughs> You and your husband watched the valley tour in honor of the bulldozing. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's a commitment, too, because that video is like an hour long. I remember before putting it out every every stream for like weeks because I was working on this valley tour video for so long. The editing process, I filmed it probably four times because I kept trying to make it not so long, but like I couldn't help it. So for weeks, on stream, I was like, uh, <laughs> would you all hate me if my valley tour was like an hour long? And you're all like, no, it's fine. <laughs> but I still felt so bad. I really tried to make it shorter. I recorded it so many times. I edited it like three times thinking, well, maybe even if it's long, I can just like speed up the footage or something. But eventually I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. It's just going to be long. It's just going to be long. How am I feeling about Toy Story 5, Frozen 3, Inside Out 2, Zootropolis 2, and Moana 2? So I will say I'm not like a sequel hater. I don't mind a sequel if it's good. Um... Like, I think sometimes movies really, really don't need a sequel. Like, I've mentioned this before. I feel like Encanto is one of those movies that, like, if we heard that there was a sequel for it in the works, I would side-eye a little bit. Like, I would understand it from a business perspective because it's popular. You want to capitalize on the success. You want to make money. I understand it. However, I feel like Encanto was such like a perfectly told story that a sequel is not necessary and would most likely just diminish the impact of the story. Um, but I'm not opposed to a sequel in general. So I will probably see all of the sequels and probably enjoy them. But I will say I'm a little bit disappointed because it seems like for the next two years, I think they dropped like all of their projected films for the next two years. And I think it's exclusively sequels. And that makes me a little bit sad because I love the original stories like I think, but I don't know. At the same time, I feel like a lot of the original stories that have been coming out recently from Disney and Pixar, people either haven't been watching or haven't been appreciating, like, for the most part. Like, the general community of consumers. So I can understand why they would make sequels, because, like, if people aren't going to, like, get Either way, might as well capitalize on the success of previous franchises that did well. So I get it, but I would like to see more original films. Like, I liked Wish. I really liked Wish. I really liked Strange World. So I would have liked to see some new things. You love long videos, they're your favorite to watch. That's the thing, I love a long video too, but like, even though this is my channel, <laughs> even though this is my channel and people don't have to watch things if they don't want to, I still feel like I'm imposing by like making content that's too long. Okay, let's clear all of this. At your doctor's appointment. I hope it goes well, Christina. And I'm sorry that you haven't been feeling well. Also, hello, Samantha. Hi. I'm doing pretty well today. I hope you're doing well also. My Valley Tour convinced you to buy the game? No way. That's amazing. That's such a compliment. 
I hope you are enjoying it and that you don't regret your decision to buy it. That would be pretty bad. Whose house is this? Wait, which one? This one here? This is Belle's house. You think Disney is struggling coming up with different ideas? I don't know. I've heard that statement a lot. I'm not that inclined to believe it just because the team at Disney is huge. And like people who work at like if you want to work at Disney, you're probably like one of the best of the best because it's Disney. They're not going to hire just anybody. So I don't I I don't know what's going on, but I'm not overly inclined to believe that they just don't have ideas cuz I feel like there are too many talented people who work for Disney for them to just not have ideas. No regrets at all. You're obsessed with this game. Amazing. I'm very happy to hear that. Do I prefer live streaming or doing normal YouTube videos? I enjoy both a lot. Like I love streaming because I think interacting with everybody is really fun. And it's also like um, I don't really game much in my personal time anymore, so live streaming is a way for me to feel, like, good about spending an extended amount of time gaming. Uh, so I really like it, but I do really love videos, making videos, but the thing is that it has to be something that I'm passionate about. Like, the video that I made, um, my first ever video was, like, a theories video. I had a blast with that one. That one was so fun. And... One of my more recent videos that I made um, before the last update was also like a theories video. And it was so fun. Like I I had a great time researching for it. I even though editing is like a pain and not always my favorite, I even had a great time like editing that video. So I really do like making YouTube videos. It just it depends on the video. Which is why sometimes I think about like making a secondary channel that doesn't have to do with Dreamlight Valley because I really like making videos about things that I'm passionate about. But with Dreamlight Valley, there's not like there's not always a lot of stuff happening that makes me feel inspired because we go months in between update cycles you know and when there's nothing new to talk about i'm just not as inclined to spend time coming up with something i guess sequels are a guaranteed market Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm silly and you love me and that's why you watch. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I do. Is Wish on Disney Plus yet? I don't think it is yet, but I think it's coming to Disney Plus very shortly, like very soon. Mrs. Flower, hello, hello. New subscriber. Thank you so much. You love classic movies, too. You don't like the remakes. There are a lot of remakes and I also am not like, did I say? Yeah, I'm also not a remake hater on principle. Um, for me, I usually just take each one as it comes. And if I think it was done well and provided a different perspective to the story that makes it worthwhile, I enjoy it. But sometimes I don't enjoy them. You're excited about the Beetlejuice sequel? Is it a sequel or is it just a remake? I can't remember. It's just, it's a sequel, right? I only saw Beetlejuice for the first time a couple years ago, so I don't have like a deep-seated attachment to it. Um, But I do like it and I'll probably see the sequel because my partner loves Beetlejuice. Oh, don't forget to hydrate. Thank you. I, um, yeah, I don't have like a true stream drink today. I just have my water because I have been feeling a bit dehydrated.
you know, you're joining late. No worries. No worries. Um, I'm tearing everything down because with all the new houses, how many new premium shop houses do we have since I had my valley decorated? Um, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. We have like four or five new player houses that were added since my valley was completed. And we have the three new villager houses. So like I needed to do something to make room for all of this. And I decided it was just a good opportunity to start fresh, reimagine some areas of my valley, perhaps like try putting things in new places that I might not have thought to before. So yeah. Just felt like a clean slate sort of situation. And I've been talking about it and wanting to for kind of months now. And I was just sort of waiting for the right moment. And now that we finished the majority of the quests from the expansion, now feels like a good time. 100% sequel. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let me move these things. Thank you so much, Amanda. That's very sweet. The Beetlejuice musical. I have not seen the musical, um, but I'm very familiar with it, like in terms of the music and uh, like some of the staging and things like that. You love the valley, cute, not overcrowded. Well, thank you. That's interesting because <laughs> I always feel like my valley is overcrowded. <laughs> but sometimes I try really hard to like not do that. Okay, let's move you as well. And then our forest is done. The only bad thing about this is that our valley just looks empty for an eternity for a while, which isn't my favorite, but it's worth it to get to redecorate. Going into lurk mode. Well, thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, okay. Let me go to this vacuum over here. The musical is so good. You enjoyed it so much. Oh my goodness. I love a good musical. Which reminds me again of the Wicked movie. I can't wait for the Wicked movie. Do I think Legos are for kids? I mean, there are Lego sets that work for kids. Uh, obviously, check out whatever warning is on it so that you don't give Legos to children who are too young to have Legos. But um, if you're asking if like adults can enjoy Legos as well, um, yeah, I would even go so far as to say that some Lego sets are exclusively made for like adults or like if not adults, like older people because they can get quite complex actually i don't really do lego sets but my brother likes them a lot and sometimes i work on them with him and it's such a test of patience it's kind of like in the realm of like jigsaw puzzles for me almost i love a good jigsaw puzzle but like ooh, it gets intricate I was actually thinking about getting a Lego set somewhat recently. There was like a set of flowers, like Lego flowers. And I was like, that would be really fun to do. I love that kind of thing, though. Like, I don't know. I feel like this was a bit of a fad a few years ago. Um, like, what were they called? I don't know if they had a specific name, but it was kind of like paint by numbers. But instead of painting, it was like these little uh, like crystals, like these little miniature like jewel things. I did so many of those uh, in like 2020 because <laughs> when I wasn't at work, I wasn't going anywhere. And so I would just sit and like watch YouTube documentaries and do these little bedazzle by number things. 
Good times. You have a Wicked movie date set with your brother since you saw the musical live together. That's so fun. I saw the musical. I didn't get a chance to see it on Broadway. Um, but when the company toured nationally, I was able to see it, uh, see the tour. And it was so good. I'm probably going to see it with my sisters because it comes out Thanksgiving. Or if not, actually, it does come out on Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Um, so my sister that doesn't live here will be here. So all three of us will probably go together. Can I grab you? You hope it's not just for kids because you're helping your son build one right now and you're loving it. No, it's so fun. Like there's something so nice. I might have talked about this recently on stream about like those tasks that have like a tactical element to it and that it's like it's not that it doesn't require thought because it does, but it's like a specific type of thought that really helps to clear your brain, if that makes sense. Like, that's why I like Sudoku puzzles. That's why I like jigsaw puzzles. That's why, yeah, I liked those like little bedazzle by numbers because it like gives your brain something to do that somehow also like clears your brain. It's really nice. If you haven't tried it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Diamond art. Yes, the diamond art. Oh, yeah, 2020. That must have been like around when it was like a thing, maybe because just like no one was leaving their home and they're like, this is a fun new thing to do. Hi, Princess Luca. How are you? My afternoon is going really well. Um, Yeah, it's going really well. You've read the book and have seen the Broadway play of Wicked. You're so pumped for the movie as well. I read the book uh, before I saw the musical. But I think I was familiar with the musical by that point. It's so different. Very different. Um, different um, like energy, different feel. But it, I remember enjoying it. You really want to get a Lego set? You want the Hocus Pocus one? Is there a Hocus Pocus one? I've never seen that before. I feel like I need to look into this now. Because that seems right up my alley. I'm sorry to hear that, Princess Luca. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh my goodness. Your son bought his girlfriend the Lego flower set. I keep seeing it everywhere. Like every time I log into Amazon anymore, it's just right there. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> it's very tempting. Book is 100% different from the musical. Oh, very, very different. It's the house from Hocus Pocus. Oh, that would be cool. Sanderson sisters are still one of my big, like, hopes for Dreamlight Valley. Like, they're pretty high up on the list. Let me exit out of here for a sec. Clean this up. Who would have thought it would take us like over two hours to clear out the valley? I'm really like gobsmacked. You love the Lego flowers? You built all three of them? Amazing. You put together the Home Alone house and the Mario blog? Oh, that's cool. The only musical show you've been to was a few times Disney on Ice. Oh, nice. Otherwise, you haven't been to any more musicals. Yeah, I um, was like one of those kids who... Mm, should I say this? 
I, uh, I was never like involved in musicals or anything when I was young. I was homeschooled. I think if I wasn't homeschooled, I definitely would have fallen in with like the theater nerd crowd. But I was like an actual like theater kid in, um, in university. And when I was in grad school, like I was in an improv troupe that like performed <laughs> and <laughs> I, uh, I did quite a bit of like acting in like short films and stuff. Um, so that was very much like my personality. I did a couple community like shows and plays and stuff, but. Yeah, it, it definitely became my personality later on in life. Four likes away from a hundred. No way. Thank you, everybody, for liking the stream. I appreciate it. There was something I told myself I might have forgotten to delete. What was it? Oh, the boat in the river up here. Did I get rid of it? Oh, no, I did. OK. Uh, where do I have the rest of these trees? There's no way we only have. Oh, here's one. Oh, and there's the other one. I think we might only have three coconut trees, so that should be good. You're saving up for the Titanic Lego set. That is one thing, though. Legos are so expensive. Every time I see a set, I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And then I look at the price and I'm like, um, how? <laughs> that is so expensive. So yeah, definitely an investment. But then again, I also try to think sometimes about things in terms of like how many hours of enjoyment I'm going to get out of it. And I feel like you could get a lot of hours of enjoyment out of doing some Lego sets, especially the ones that are more complex. They probably take a long time. So it's just the initial like price tag shock value. Your favorite one you have is the friend's apartment in Central Perk. I've seen those ones before. Those are really cool. Just liked. Do you get a cookie? You know what? Oh, no. Why did I do this? Uh, virtual baked goods to everyone who liked. Absolutely. I'm going to leave this up. This was the one thing that I said that I probably would leave up. And you know what? We're going to. I might come back and delete it if I'm feeling spicy. But <laughs> for now, we're going to leave it. Over 100 likes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. It really does help the channel. So I do... I do thank you for liking the stream. The troupe? Yeah, the improv troupe. It was quite a serious thing. <laughs> I picked up improv as a hobby because I was like so shy. Like I still am quite introverted and I can take a while to like feel comfortable around people sometimes, which feels weird to say as someone who like talks to a lot of people online for their job. But uh, it's true. Um, but yeah, I was really self-conscious about that so one day I was like you know what's like the most off the wall thing that would make me the most uncomfortable I've ever been and push me the furthest outside of my box possible improv comedy <laughs> so I just joined an improv class and then I was like wait a second I really like this Lego is so expensive you feel like you should get a small set for your first set. Oh, yeah. See how much you like it and then go from there for sure, for sure. That's how you justify getting your nails done. How many hours of enjoyment you get out of it. No, really. Like, that's how I am with some things as well. I try to be financially responsible, but sometimes there's something that's really expensive and you're like, OK, I know this is a lot of money to spend on this one thing. However, like the amount of value that I would get out of the purchase is worth it sometimes. The only Lego you want is a Rivendell one. I don't think I know what that is. 
But it's $500? Are you kidding me? Oh my. Sounds amazing. Seems like it fits my personality vibe. <laughs> personality vibe feels bubbly like your little sister. I do think I have quite like a bubbly and eccentric personality, I guess. But it's also interesting because I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting to see like how you as a person change throughout the years, you know? Because I, I think I was like this when I was really young and then I think I wasn't so much. When I was like high school, college age kind of thing, but it's come back around. Oh, Lord of the Rings movie set in Lego form. Oh my. Oh, that's a path. I was like, what is delete or like, what is that sound when nothing is deleting? Oh, you know what I didn't do? Well, too late now. I don't think I have. <laughs> I don't think I have like an actual tour of this area up. <laughs> that's fine. I know I walked through it on stream once because this I did decorate off stream. So if I really wanted that footage, I could go and find it. Um, delete all of this. We're getting close. Well, actually, I say we're getting close to the end. Actually, that really scared me. Um, the little mouse lagged a bit. Let me save my game. I think we still have like four biomes left after this, so we're not that close. Okay. Feel a little bit more comfy now. Uh, yeah, this stuff. It's gonna be kind of cool to see, like, well, it's not gonna make that much of a difference now. It would, I was going to say, it's going to be nice to see how many more things I have in my furniture inventory than I did before. But a lot of my decorating outside is, like, with plants and stuff, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. It would be if I deleted everything in all of the premium shop houses, so the amount of furniture that's in those is wild. I have to figure out which biome is going to be like my magical biome. I feel like I usually like to have one that feels like... Twinkly and enchanting. Wonder which one it's gonna be this time around. Ooh, and I'll finally get to decorate with all of that stuff from the Royal Winter Star Path in the Frosted Heights. That's gonna be fun. I haven't done anything with any of that. Do I have any path leading up here? No, I guess I don't. Oh, I guess it was all connected, so it probably just deleted together. Well, that works. Do these signposts come back if we delete them? The ones that mark um, the biomes? Uh, let me move you here. Yeah, that should be fine. They do. Okay. I thought I might have seen one in my inventory before that I accidentally deleted. I just wasn't sure. That's good to know, though. It's really actually sad that there are certain things that you can't get back. And I also wonder why that is. Like, why aren't the sand dunes in landscaping? Or why don't we have the tiny bushes?
R.I.P. baby bushes indeed, right? I feel so lucky that I became informed that you couldn't get those back before I deleted them. But they're so cute. Actually, why don't we have those in general? They're so adorable. We should have them in all of the colorways for the biomes. I think that would be ideal. Hi, RC. How are you? Stream is going pretty well. We're getting down to the last... Well, we're like uh, halfway through with getting rid of things in the valley. We finished the aisle first. So feeling good. I haven't had any kind of emotional crisis yet. Just kind of generally vibing. This area is so good, though. Anyway, <laughs> maybe we'll just recreate it or something. Maybe I won't even use this. There are some things that I probably won't have out anymore. Maybe we can find space for some of the things that we've had hidden away for a while. Ooh, I really, really want to make... Um, I really want to make... What am I trying to say? I feel so strongly about this, and yet the words are not coming to me. I really want to make uh, the pizza planet work. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> what are you from? I actually don't think I've really looked at the pizza planet. Oh, no, I did look at it on the beach one day. I want to look at it again. Maybe once I clear out like the plaza or the meadow, um, I'll pop it down and have a little look-see. Is indoor decor included in item count? No. Um, it seems like each home has an just unlimited item count. I can't 100% confirm that, but I know some people have said they like filled up their homes completely and they haven't had any issues. And I have not come across any issues with placing like too many items inside. Okay, that's... okay. What other games do I like playing? Um, so I haven't been playing that much, um, like I haven't been gaming much in my personal time, out time outside of streams recently, but we play Coral Island on the channel. And that one's great. We did an entire playthrough of the main story for... Breath of the Wild, which is a Zelda game. Um, loved that, even though I never finished the sequel. Um, we played Fey Farm, had a really good time with that. What else have we played? We've checked out a couple various farming sims that I enjoyed, but we I feel like there's always too many games and too little time, so we haven't really stuck with a lot of those on the channel, but... Um, we tried out Everdream Valley, which was really cute. Um, we tried out Wildflowers, which I know a lot of people like. I haven't played it outside of stream ever, but I thought it was fun. What else? What else? Played a lot of Disney Speedstorm for a little while, which I still occasionally play in my free time. From time to time. Oh, Palea. We've played a, quite a bit of Palea in the past few months. Hi, kitty. Hello, hello. What am I doing? Why? <laughs> it looks so satisfying to clean everything. Yeah, just completely clearing everything away. Um, why? Just because I want a fresh start to be able to place buildings in different places and I don't know I feel like if I were trying to move things around significantly like I feel like I'm gonna make a lot of changes and if I was trying to do it while other areas were still decorated I think it would just be harder so we're just clearing it all away you found Zelda quests were a little hard to play Um, yeah, Zelda was a totally different experience for me. I 
had never played a Zelda game before Breath of the Wild. Um, I also had not really played many games with a strong combat element in them before. And Breath of the Wild is... There's like a large exploration element to the game, but there is also combat as like a pretty big thread. So I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I really liked it a lot. Tears of the Kingdom when? Listen. If the people want Tears of the Kingdom, I can bring it back. It's probably been almost a year since we played Tears of the Kingdom. I don't remember the last time we played it. I think it was close. Like, I think we played for a few weeks after it came out. And it came out last year, like spring, right? Oh, I have to pick all these pumpkins. I can do that later. Let me do the uh, vacuum, though, first. You put Rapunzel in the glade, but maybe you should move her so she isn't so close to Mother Gothel. If you like her in the glade, I'm sure she's vibing. Apparently she and Mother Gothel are cool now. Like, it seemed like they're fine. That was a bit confusing to me, but listen, it's not my trauma. So if she wants to have that relationship, I'm happy for her. Wait, no, this is from the, these are from the plaza, I'm pretty sure. You have a lot of those games, but haven't had much time to play them. But your main favorites are Animal Crossing and Disney Dreamlight Valley. Nice. Yeah, I've played a bit of Animal Crossing in the past. Um, way, like, before I was on YouTube. Um, but I haven't really played it in a while. I got like really intimidated by the decorating mechanics in Animal Crossing, so I think that's kind of why I didn't really continue with it. Also, um, like the real time aspect to it, like Disney Dreamlight Valley has a real time aspect to it, but I feel like it's not too constraining. Usually, like there are a couple of quests that I was like, why? <laughs> like, why is this what we're doing? But um, yeah, for the most part, the real time element is like a non factor. But with Animal Crossing, like the actual seasons and like the actual time of day for the things, I was like, this is just too much for me. Speedstorm was also so good. I appreciate a bit of Speedstorm from time to time. I just really have to be in the mood for it. Like, there are some games I can play any day, any time, and have a good time with, but Speedstorm is one that, like, I have to specifically want to play Speedstorm to enjoy it. Look at all these butterflies. Have there always been this many? Wow. It's like a huge swarm of them. You love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, Breath of the Wild was so good. So fun. And challenging. Like, I felt like it was a really good blend of fun and challenging. Like, it... I'm the first... <laughs> The playthrough is on my channel. I think there's a playlist. And the first one or two streams, I feel like I was flopping around, not knowing what was going on. And it was a little bit of a mess, I will say. Um, but after that, I feel like it was it was good. It wasn't too challenging to the point where it felt like impossible but it still made you work for it a little bit. You think the meadow was always your favorite? Sad to see it go, but excited to see what it becomes. Yeah, I'm a little bit sad to see it go as well. Um, if you like my meadow, uh, it was inspired by um, Savannah at My Day Old Tea. She's also a content creator a while ago. I, I'm pretty sure she's changed it since then. She had a meadow design that was like the theme was green and yellow. 
And I loved that so much. And she kind of had this like pathing. Well, I don't know if it was this specific path because it might have been before we had bordered paths um, in her meadow as well. And I was like, that is such a fun theme. So, yeah, that was what inspired my meadow idea. It ended up looking very different than hers, but. She does some pretty cool designs. Okay, where am I putting these? These back here. And that could work. Or like here, maybe? Maybe I'll do it here. I'm completely blocking this mining spot. I don't really need to do much mining at the moment here, but I guess it would be nice to have access to it anyway. You like the new underwater track in Speedstorm? Listen, I haven't played the new season yet. I really want to, but I haven't. Maybe I'll try to find time to do that this week. You can only play like 20 to 30 minutes on Speedstorm before you get bored. That's fair. I think also, yeah, it's also one of those games that like there's such a grind to it. But if you've been playing since the beginning of early access, I feel like a lot of the season ends up just being too easy. At least the first like few chapters. So it is a bit. It, yeah, it's like kind of that thing again with like. It's nice to have a challenge, but not too much of a challenge. But I feel like Speedstorm is the opposite direction sometimes at the start of a season. So it's like not enjoyable because it's not challenging enough. How's the destruction process going? It's going well, Brick. How are you? We're working. We got three biomes left after this. And I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling um, if I think about it too much, I'm feeling a tad bit overwhelmed. That feels true to me. Um, about like the process of redecorating all of this again, but I'm excited to see what we could do, what we could come up with. A group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. Really? I don't think I knew that. That's really neat. I like uh, knowing the names for groups of things. I think it's fun. I can't promise that I didn't gain that love from One Tree Hill. I feel like a little bit I did. Maybe or like I just respected the energy of that in One Tree Hill. It's kind of like a chicken and the egg situation. I'm not 100% sure which came first, but <laughs> but still. Did I remember to keep the little bushes? I did. I put them all the way over. Wait, there are four of them. Well, I think I must have deleted one a long time ago because I had three of them. But yeah, I moved them over away before I started taking things down because I didn't want to get rid of them. But I think I've only had three for probably ever. Not like since the start of the game, but since I paid attention to decorating, really. Put you over there for now. Excited for the star path? I'm interested in seeing what we get in the star path. I thought it was interesting that we're getting Monsters, Inc. stuff in it. I know that was in the poll. But I feel like typically we don't not the poll, the survey. Um, I feel like typically we haven't really had the characters that we got in updates represented very heavily in the star paths. And I kind of prefer that, if I'm honest, because I like having that variety. Like Monsters, Inc., I really like the movie. I think it's really good, but the characters are definitely not like my favorite. So knowing that Monsters, Inc. is going to be in the star path as well. 
I think I would have been a little bit more excited if it was something different, but it could just be like one item or two items. And I think that would be fine. I'm super intrigued by like the Lady and the Tramp clue, though. I think it would be fun to see what items we get from that. That could be very, very cute. You with life. If I think about it too much, I'm feeling a tad bit overwhelmed. <laughs> That's a very relatable feeling. I'm also a little bit like that. Just don't think about it. That's fine. That was the best show. One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill was the wildest ride for me. I think I watched it like my last year of high school, maybe, or my first year of university. I can't really remember. It a little bit feels like a show that's always existed in my life, even though I know that it hasn't. Um, but it's just wild. Like, it does some really interesting things uh, throughout the course of the show. It's like so long and it's so like slice of life in a way that I'm surprised that it lasted as long as it did. But also, I feel like it pulled like a season two of Friday Night Lights in that the last season of the show just like completely loses the grounded nature of the show. Like the show is very grounded for the most part. Like, obviously, it's a show, so it has to be entertaining. So there's dramatic stuff happening, but the dramatic stuff feels like mostly like it makes sense. But then I feel like the last season just goes off the walls and you're like, what is happening? What do we think the theme of the star path will be like the title of? Oh, oh like the title. The emojis seem a bit sporadic to you. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea because like we've had some odd things before, like not odd things, but wide breadth of types of items before under the banner of like Wonder of Pixar. But this can't be a Pixar themed star path. It. I don't know. I know some people were thinking it might be like Valentine's related, but we're getting like Valentine's Day is in two days. So I don't know if that's what it's going to be. And also, I don't know how closely Monsters Inc. ties into that theme. I really don't know. I'm excited to see. You always look forward to new furniture in the games you never finish but you never finish the star path in time oh no yeah i feel like um i know a lot of people in the community say that they usually do the star path first because that's the only thing that's got a time limit to it which makes sense i feel like it can be hard if you like don't start working on the star path right away because there are always some quests that are time locked and then you can just like even if you start working on it toward like the last week you can still sometimes lock yourself out of finishing it which is actually kind of unfortunate when is the next star path it's going to be coming with the next update but we don't have a date for it yet a cinderella star path sounds fun if they were to do one that would be fun I would like that, I think. What dream styles could we get? I don't know, because like if we don't have a theme, it's really hard to like guess what kind of items we could get. Imagine if they announced the update the day before again. I would. <laughs> Can they please not? <laughs> I would really like it if they didn't. I would very much appreciate not that happening. It's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles. Just blew your mind placing the building on the dug holes. Oh yeah. 
Um, I know a lot of people used to do like rug or furnitures, but if I have space, I like furnitures, <laughs> furniture. But if I have space, I like to do buildings because usually if you cover it with furniture and then delete the furniture and exit out, the whole stay dug, but you can't delete houses. So it they just, yep, they just remove themselves. You think the emojis could be Lady and the Tramp, Monsters, Inc., and something like Medusa or Hercules? Yeah, earlier um, in the stream, we were talking about Madame Medusa from The Rescuers because she, uh, well, like, her name is Medusa. Um, she, I don't think she actually has, like, snakes specifically. No, she has, like, an alligator or something. But, um... Then we found out that apparently red haired emojis are the default on Twitter, potentially. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, then some people were saying maybe it's a hairstyle like Celia's hairstyle from Monsters, Inc. Because she has the snake hair. And now I think that's the theory I'm most convinced of for now until we have more to go off of. You don't know why they're so secretive with telling us a date. Let, let me not say that. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know, but it would be really nice if they gave us more notice like they used to. You know what I think part of it is? And I'm really side-eyeing whoever did this. <laughs> Respecting your opinion, but also side-eyeing. There was a survey way last year um, actually, I don't think it was even on the official big survey that we had. I think it was like a community survey on socials or something about like, would you rather know the date of the update in advance or like close to the update? And I think close to the update won out. But also, I don't know if the people who were voting for close to the update meant like one or two days before. So it might just be like a miscommunication thing. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the surprise or like almost surprise drops. You love the plaza I did? Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a good plaza. I've had this section for so long. Um, and I kind of am sad to see this section go. I'm not going to lie, but... Um, we might come up with something that's just as great or even better, maybe. We'll see. Worst comes to worst, I just rebuild it the way that it was now. And that's it. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't mind at least attempting something new. These bushes looked nice back here against this building, actually, now that I think about it. Hi, Brian. How are you? Will I be redecorating the interior of the premium homes? No, I'm not touching those. <laughs> I am not. Well, actually, let me let me amend a little bit. Um, I have no plans to delete all of the furnishing that I did in the premium shop homes. However, um, I could potentially redo one or two of them if... I'm trying to differentiate things more. And what I mean by that, I guess, is like we have a lot of cottagey looking homes. We have the summer cottage. The mushroom manor is cottagey vibes. Um, we have the summer cottage. We have uh, the fairy bloss home, which isn't a cottage, but it's again that kind of like nature -y vibe. So if I am trying to go for like a specific cottage style in one of the newer homes that I haven't decorated yet, and I feel like it's overlapping too much with the ones that I've decorated already, I could potentially redecorate those to just like make them have their own distinct style, if that makes sense but I'm not planning to redo the other ones right now. Really getting rid of everything? Well, yes. Might as well go big or go home.
And yeah, I'm really not actually as bothered about it as I thought I would be. I was actually getting a little bit anxious. Oh, <laughs> there's a fountain under there um, about it before stream because I thought I was going to be really emotional about it. But I think the thing is that the amount of fun that I have decorating exceeds the amount of attachment that I have to the specific valley build. And also, like, I just have a lot of footage of my valley designed like this. So again, if I end up feeling sad about it or hating whatever we do next, I can just redecorate it the way that I had it before. It's not too, too high stakes. Can't believe I've been deleting things for over two hours. I know oh, it's been two and a half hours. I thought I legitimately thought it would take 45 minutes tops. What do you mean? No. So I'm also surprised that we're still here doing this right now. Okay, okay, okay. And now I'm going to be able to like actually make a proper spot for this because I kind of had just put that station um, in the place of a fountain that I removed. Oh, you know what I still haven't been doing? <laughs> I still have not been picking these non-pumpkins. Why would I think that? Wait, why would I think what? You're having trouble with the dream snap for this week. Yeah, I'm thinking about redoing my dream snap for this week. I don't know. I don't like love it. Um. Yeah, it was a bit of a difficult theme for me. It gave too many, too many options. Okay, okay. All of this. I don't know why my voice broke there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I'm excited to move Mirabelle to the aisle. Wow. Yeah, I am i don't 100% know everybody that I want to be on the aisle versus in the valley, but Mirabelle and Wally are getting relocated. I do know that. You still have candy and wrapping paper in the valley? Wait, really? Did it just get like trapped under other things? The last emoji in the Star Path teaser is Madame Medusa. Well, we can speculate that it might be, but we don't know for sure. That was one of my initial thoughts, and we've talked about that earlier in the stream, but I don't know anymore. It's not my my primary theory anymore. You have the theme park stuff from the previous star path, but you're having such a hard time finding a design you love with it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I had a little theme park area for a short amount of time, but I kind of had the same thing where I I really like those items a lot, but I felt like I had a really hard time finding a design that I liked, like something that looked good. So then I just stopped using it. And we might try to bring it back now, but we'll see. And I've seen some people make some really gorgeous theme parks. I don't know why I just struggled to find one that I 
like, I don't know, a design that I like. It's you, actually? You're the last emoji? Wait, actually? I would buy it. Celia hairstyle makes more sense. That's the one I'm leaning towards, but again, I feel like we have so little to go off of. We don't have a theme for it, so it's all just... just guesses. I need to remember that these exist. These are kind of cool items. It would be nice to find a way to use them in my new, probably sunlit build. I don't know where else they would look good. Maybe actually in the glittering dunes, we could find a spot for them. When you bulldozed, you found two blue eggs and it was August. Yeah, it really, it, it's like that sometimes. Oh, well, you don't belong. <laughs> I mean, I can delete you now, but you're from a different biome. Okay. There we go. Hi, Micah. How are you? You got Ariel on Speedstorm and you got her up to Platinum. Amazing. I haven't even started the new season yet. But I'm excited about it. Okay, can I grab you? There we go. You love dark and villains and the lighting is really hard for you and every time you try to take a snap, your game freeze. Oh no! Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That reminds me my phone camera was being so weird today. I had to take a picture of a document for like to submit. So like it was really annoying because I um I had to do it like through this way. I don't know. Anyway, um every time I went to the camera on my phone, my phone would completely glitch out and like freeze and it was I don't know. My phone is also so old. Like sometimes I'm like, "Oh, yeah, I have a pretty new phone." I don't. I got my phone in like 2017. <laughs> Let's <laughs> It might have been 2018, but still, that is old for a phone. I need a new one. <laughs> Were those from the Star Path? Wait, we're what from the Star Path? The uh, Disney Park stuff? Because the Disney Park stuff was. Or the like little uh, branch uh, dividers. Sorry, I'm always so behind on chat. You were thinking Medusa, the lady uh, with the red hair that looked like a snake. Yeah, I was originally thinking that because the red hair felt like a specific choice to me. But then somebody said that the red hair emoji is the default emoji on Twitter. So then I felt like if it was the default, maybe it wasn't like a conscious choice or like a nod at Medusa. I don't know. I also feel like what item is like notable enough from Medusa to warrant a spot in the star path. Does that make sense? Like as a character, I think she's really cool, like interesting, but I can't think of anything that was hers specifically or really related to her that would make a big impact. Okay, you move here for a second. What area am I building in right now? I'm not building at the moment. I'm just deleting the things in Sunlit Plateau. The other half of Sunlit Plateau that we haven't done yet is also one of the areas that's been decorated like that in my valley for the longest time. The, like, jungle portion. It's been like that for a really long time. Kind of sad to see it go, but kind of excited because it's been probably a year almost since I've seen this half of Sunlit Plateau not built up like this. Yeah, I think I did it 
right when we got Simba and Nala. Oh, so it would have been less than a year, but close. Because we got them in April. I have time to do it. There are 49 days. Yeah, the seasons in Speedstorm tend to be pretty long, so I don't usually, unless I'm streaming it, I don't really feel in a rush to um, work on it right away. The sticks by Goofy Stall. Oh, those are a screwed shop item. They're just from the Lion King collection. Finally got your snap submitted. Congratulations. That's awesome. Now for your Switch account. Oh my goodness. That's one reason why I'm not that upset about um, the fact that my second save got deleted because <laughs> two snaps a week would be... I Sometimes I can barely come up with an idea for one stream snap per week. Uh, you just move like here for now. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think a character has to be like a big thing necessarily to be represented in the star path. Like we're not talking about characters being introduced. We're just talking about items in the star path. So I don't think they have to be the biggest character ever, but I think they have to have something pretty distinct um, about them that can be adapted to a cosmetic item. And I don't know of anything specific to Medusa that fits that vibe that I can think of. It has been a while since I watched Rescuers. So there might be something that she has, like a trinket or something that would be really interesting. But I just can't think of one off of the top of my head. At one point, I started a new save, starting the game over. What happened with that? So it's kind of a funny story and kind of like, um, <laughs> like, I'm really happy it played. Like, it's kind of a sad story, but I'm happy that it played out the way that it did because the alternative would have been really bad. So I started that with the new update and like, or yeah, the update in December when we got the expansion. And at that point in time, um, if you played the game on Steam or anywhere besides PlayStation, uh, there was a way with the cloud account to log in and out of your cloud account and log into other cloud accounts. That's very confusing, but essentially you could play multiple accounts on the same device. Um, not like on Switch where you have different profiles, like just in the game, there was a mechanic where you could log out and log into a different account. However, like within a couple of days of the update dropping, there was this hotfix that went out. And for some reason in this hotfix, they didn't address this, but they changed the mechanic in the game where you can no longer log into and out of various cloud accounts. So it just deleted the account that I was not signed in on. Luckily, I was signed in on my main account, so the account that got deleted was my secondary save. It would have been really, really bad if for some reason I had still been logged into my secondary save because then my main account would have been deleted. Um, but that is why I wasn't able to continue that um, second save. And I could just buy a copy of the game on like Epic and start a save there. But I don't know that I want to buy another copy of the game. So for now, we're just rocking with with our OG save.
Red hair and diamond rings and earrings. Yeah, I remember her ring. But I also don't it. But it felt kind of just like a ring. Like it was a giant like diamond ring kind of thing, right? But it didn't seem like anything super specific. I know she had her pet Crocs. I don't know. I would be really like I would think it was really cool if they brought in Madame Medusa. I love rescuers. I just don't know that it's it makes the most sense for the star path. Shiny Evelyn, hello, hello. You spent two hours on your frozen dream snap and got 900 moonstones and 10 minutes on your sport one and ended up getting 1500. Yeah, dream snaps is just, you never, you never know how it's gonna go. It's a mysterious creature. I'm streaming still? Well, yeah. No point in stopping before I'm finished deleting everything in my valley. <laughs> so I'll be here at least until we finish that. We got one biome left, I think. It's actually kind of liberating having this area open. You can like actually see to the other side of the biome. Hmm. You'd rather have Bernard and Bianca. Yeah, I think the other thing, though, is that we're specifically talking about the star path, so it's not that the character would be introduced. It's just that something related to them would be in the star path. I don't necessarily have a big desire for Medusa to show up as a character. I wouldn't mind it, but it, I think it would make more sense to have like Bernard and Bianca first. You haven't even started Vanellope's quest yet for Dream Snaps. You need to get on it. Oh, absolutely do. Yeah, Dream Snaps is huge. I would recommend getting that feature as soon as possible because it gives you the ability to earn Moonstones that you can spend in the premium shop or um, to unlock the star path. Okay, where do I have? Oh, yes, right here. Um, You also belong here. And you? No, these are from Sunlit. Watching me delete everything is oddly satisfying. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Definitely glad that you're enjoying it. I feel like it's the kind of thing that I would like to watch if I because I don't think if I didn't stream this game, I don't think I ever would have had the like um, the willpower to delete my entire valley. And I probably would have enjoyed watching other people do it because I would be like, yeah, this is very satisfying, but I have no desire to do this myself. You think the red hair is maybe Peter Pan? You know, I, I don't... I don't know. I think the red hair might just be the emoji that was like the default emoji. Now I feel like I want to check this, but I don't know how to... I don't know how to verify this. Actually, give me a second. I have Twitter open. Mm. But I also don't know... I never use Twitter. How does one Twitter? <laughs> how does one tweet? No, stop open oh it zoomed in like 50 times that's why sorry i'm just trying to see uh i don't know i it might not be the default i don't know i can't dig deeply enough into this right now if it's not the default then it's got to be madame medusa because why else would they pick a red-haired person You started a new save on Apple Arcade and it's so much faster than playing on the Switch. I've heard that Apple Arcade performs really well. I've heard there are a couple like odd things about it, but other than that, um, like the performance factor is really good. I don't have Apple Arcade um, and my phone's too old. <laughs> my 
my phone's too old, so it wouldn't play Dream Life Valley even if I did uh, have it, but I've heard other people are enjoying it a lot. You deleted your Glade while watching today. It was a hot mess from your Dream Snap. Well, there you go. Yeah, I feel like my areas always get messed up from Dream Snaps. I've tried to just do outdoor dream snaps on the aisle recently if I could. Um, so I didn't have to mess up anything that I had decorated, but then those areas just turn into a mess. Thanks for coming to the stream, Charlotte. I hope you have a wonderful night. Oh yeah, no worries, Courtney. Oh wait, I'm thinking of something else entirely. Ignore me. Hi, Brandy, how are you? Maybe it hints towards, towards Celia? Yeah, that's like, I feel like those are the two main theories at the moment. Madame Medusa and Celia. I do think a Celia hairstyle makes a lot of sense as an item that would be in a star path. We'll just have to wait and see, honestly. I mean, hopefully we get more information soon. I was really thinking that we would be getting the update soon, but now I'm just, I don't know. I'm not sure. It just feels like maybe next week. My initial thought was this week, but maybe next week. Are the mannequins able to be placed outside? No, they're indoor only. When I start decorating again, will it be on the aisle or in the valley first? Um, I kind of want to decorate the aisle first, but um, I usually... We'll just decorate whatever I'm feeling inspired by or whatever I have an idea for first. So I think it'll depend um, on what I'm feeling once I place all of the buildings and homes where I want them. If I get like a specific vision for a certain area, then I'll probably start there first. But I would like to decorate on the aisle since it's new and shiny at least to me in terms of decorating. I haven't done any decorating there at all. I think it would be a lot of fun. You tried playing the Apple Arcade version of Dreamlight Valley on your iPad, but you need a controller. Oh. Yeah, I wonder what the controls would be like. You have your entire Ancient's Landing decorated on the aisle, but otherwise it's a mess. You should bulldoze as well. Yeah, that's another thing. It's really nice when you're getting ready to start decorating, um, which is why I did it on the aisle as well, even though I didn't have anything decorated there. It's just nice to start with everything just completely gone. You bulldozed your whole beach yesterday and redecorated. Oh, nice. You're so happy with it now. Amazing. I'm glad it turned out well. Uh, I really want this. <laughs> this is zero house still broken. I feel like it was last time I tried and I don't know if we've had an update since then. Dreamlight Valley is weird and wild with their notice on updates. It is like it could be this week it could be next week but like i feel like if it was this week we would have more like how do i explain it yes they have been known to tell us oh hey an update is coming tomorrow surprise but even when they do that we still usually had like information about what we were getting in the update, like leading up to that. We had teases about it, right? And like, we know we're getting Mike and Sully in this update, but that's information that we found out on the roadmap and back at the showcase. 
the only new information that we've really had is that we're going to be able to change our player name and the emoji clues about the star path. It just feels like if the update was coming this week, we would have more than that by now. Does that make sense? It works for you? Wait, really? The Zero's house does? Because every time I... Let me try again. Because when I would use it, it would come up with an option to pick a um, companion to put in it. But when you selected one, it would like glitch out and they wouldn't actually be there. Let me try. Is it supposed to be a companion house? It seems like it. It's got an interact button. Wait, it's working now. <gasps> this is a game changer. I really don't know if there has been like a hot fix since the last time I checked because I checked on stream with you all somewhat recently. And it was not working then. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Welcome back, Banjo. I feel like we need more companion houses, though. We got the one in the um, the DLC, but I want more. I just want like a very generic looking one that we could use anywhere that would just go with a lot of stuff. The ones we have are too stylized. I feel that way about a lot of things in the game. We have a lot of things that are just so stylized. And yes, I get the fact that it's a Disney game, but it's not even like... I don't know how to explain it. I feel like you probably know what I mean. This whole time you never knew. Um, I think they only made it functional with the December update, but... I say functional with like air quotes because it wasn't working for me for a long time. Like it was really glitched. Welcome back, Christina. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. We still can't do anything with this. I'm telling you, I feel like we need... I feel like we need to have some kind of story coming still with the Forgotten Lands, because why can't we move this? Wait, your how your um, Zero's house is broken still, Samantha? Does Jack's tree go away if I delete it? Or will it still be in the inventory? Let me put it there. Oh, it is. Interesting. Maybe it's just like a random chance whether it works or not. Tiny Panda, hello, hello. Welcome in. We are officially... Officially done. Oh my goodness, everything's so open. Look, what, what are you doing, Scar? <laughs> He's just staring into the well. Everything is official, officially open and empty. And ready to be redone oh my goodness it's so weird this village is beautiful so strange i actually do want to look at the pizza planet again now that i have space over here it's a little unfortunate that it's raining but that's fine that's fine you placed a vacuum on the center circle and use it to gather dark wood yeah using the vacuum for gathering like dark wood and tropical wood is so nice um, I would assume it's under Toy Story. And I would, of course, be wrong. Is it under... 
dizzying? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> She's giant! Does it look good with any of the paths? I feel like the base of it is very, um... Brown. I don't know, maybe. Might be able to get away with something. Nope, remove all. Yeah, this is cool. I want to find a place to use this. It's really cool. All right. Anyway, here we are with our empty valley. This stream has been way longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was like, we'll have plenty of time to delete everything and start putting all of the homes where we think we want them to go. Um, no, I played myself apparently. So we'll have to save that for next stream. Um, we can start doing some mapping for what we want our biomes to look like. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I hope you had a good time. I will be back tomorrow playing Coral Island, I think. Um, thank you for liking the stream. 120 likes. Please like on the way out if you haven't already. I'm going to see if anybody else is playing right now that we can go and hang out with. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, Dreamlight. Valley. That's me. Nope, it doesn't look like it. So we'll actually just wrap up the stream here. But I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Uh, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Goodbye.